I am pleased to present this video in partnership with www.allfreechristmascrafts.com. In this video, we will be creating a faux lighted wine bottle made from materials found around the house. For this project, you will need one plastic bottle with all of the labels removed. You'll need some decorative ribbon, a decorative sprig, a cork that fits right in the top of your plastic bottle, masking tape, double-sided adhesive, decorative ribbon of your choice, scissors, wire cutters. You also need some Christmas lights, preferably ones without a plug at the top, and you also need your drill, safety glasses, drill bits, and a hot glue gun. Thank you for tuning in again. In this project, I will be making a lighted faux wine bottle. Now, in this project, I'm going to use a plastic bottle instead of a glass bottle. The reason is because cutting a hole, I'm going to cut a hole in the bottom, is, is pretty difficult if you don't have the right material. So, did some internet research, and in order to do this, I would have to have a drill press and some drill bits and you know, it'd be a really kind of dangerous proposition to drill a hole in a glass wine bottle. So what I've done is I went through all my condiments and I found a condiment bottle that looked that looks kind of like a wine bottle, could be mistaken for a wine bottle. I soaked it in water for overnight and then I was able to remove all of the labels and I'm going to use this as my starting point for a faux wine bottle, lighted wine bottle. Alright, so let's get started here. I'm going to start by putting a piece of masking tape on this bottle. So about, um, not real quite at the bottom, but real close to the bottom. Alright, and this is where I'm going to drill. And then I'm going to put on my safety glasses here. So trust I'm wearing my safety glasses. And I'm just going to start drilling. And, and I'm going to drill a small pilot hole first, just to see how this goes. There we go. I drilled a small pilot hole. That was pretty easy. So now I'm going to start just uh, making this hole bigger and bigger by drilling using my larger drill bits until I get to my largest drill bit. So just uh, just trying to do this safely. All right, that's a bigger drill bit. That was pretty easy. So next drill bit. All right, and try not to drill all the way through. Oh, there we go. Now I've made the largest hole with my largest build, drill bit. And then I will remove the tape. All right, now that I have drilled a hole in the back of my faux wine bottle, I'm going to start decorating it. So I've selected this sprig. I think it'll look really nice on the side of this bottle. So first thing I'm going to do is take a uh, electrical wire and cut off the part of the spring I don't need. And I'm just going to simply hot glue this on there. So let's uh, get my hot glue gun out. I'm going to need lots of glue here to hold it in place. Alrighty. And I want the sprig to go this way. Starting at the base of the neck of the bottle, I am putting a little bit of hot glue to start attaching my Christmas ribbon. Now, once I've attached my Christmas ribbon to the base of the neck of the bottle, I will start wrapping it around the neck of the bottle all the way to the top of the bottle, covering up all of the threads at the top of the bottle. I will secure in place with a little bit of hot glue at the top of the bottle. In this step, I am attaching a three inch wide ribbon to the body of my bottle using a little bit of double stick tape. I'll do this for each end of the ribbon so that the bottle is completely covered all the way around. And here's the last step. 
I am now inserting my Christmas lights into the bottle using the hole that we cut in our first step. Thank you for watching. This video has been brought to you in partnership with www.allfreechristmascrafts.com.